Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I absolutely love and adore this card and I love it for you even more. This will be the theme for the reading. You have the full moon in Taurus detoxify. There's something about that bull that just seems like a fairy tale to me. It looks like it's out of a book or a movie scene. So detoxifying. Now, if you're doing some kind of juicing or smoothies or something to detoxify your life or perhaps organizing or perhaps even looking at the people around you and detoxifying that way. All right, let's consult the tarot. What guidance do you have for Taurus, please? What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Taurus. All right. General reading followed up by an angel answers oracle card reading. You've got the two of wands, the world, the two of cups, a partnership, a relationship grows, death, a new beginning, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, you and your own energy, the Queen of Pentacles, double time, people are going to be feeling you, and the Death card. Now, I like this a lot. I mean, it's just a gorgeous reading. Half the cards are major arcana here. And so, and you know what? I'm going to do it because ju uh, judgment comes right before the world. There was something about this that it just struck me. Okay, this is an evolution. There's a soul evolution here, but it's going to be in the material plane. You will see evidence because it's neat when your soul evolves. That's really neat, but I want to see the material evidence, don't you? How about this? Okay, this is a this is a reading here that's about joy and freedom, new beginnings, an important transition for you that leads to more. But it really does feel like a cycle or a phase that begins where life just feels unlimited where you keep catching breaks, where you're not in the struggle, you're not in the, you know, how do I get this to work kind of thing. With a relationship, you have a perfect match coming in, but with a job too. I feel like if you need customers or clients, if you're starting something new, even like online therapy, where you're gonna find there may be a shortage, where the, the market's not quite so saturated, where you feel like, wow, how can I break into this? I also feel like there may have been a shift in some type of industry of, that you're in, where, again, it's not so saturated and it's going to be quite easy for you to find work. Um, but overall, with this, now we have Taurus here. We've got Scorpio. Leo is here. We've got uh, water, fire, quite a bit of earth here, too. I like this because the judgment is the call to action. Okay, when judgment shows up, it's that call to action where you're going to get, if you've been waiting for a call, you've been waiting for communication, here it comes in. I'll tell you what it does. It delivers you into nirvana where you're dancing, where you're uplifted, where you say it can't get any better than this. Now, the unclothed, what used to be previously unclothed characters in the deck, represent freedom. They represent joy. They're wonderful to see here. Now, of course, mine have little bikinis and stuff on them because we know how the AI around here get. But with this, it really is a time that you're just going to want to stop time. It almost reminds me of like... <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Char Chocolate Factory when Charlie gets that final golden ticket and they're all jumping around and dancing. It reminds me of that where you will have an occasion to celebrate. Now, for somebody, if you're in a relationship, I see an engagement coming on or at least some kind of a commitment ceremony. Perhaps you say, I'm never getting married, but you decide we want to have a little celebration anyway. Hey, go you. You do what you want to do. You don't have to live by somebody else's ideals. Because with this two of wands, you're going to be calling the shots. Now, if you are moving, I see that as coming in. The two of wands is a card of not only the planning, but then the taking action. So I mentioned he's the card of the visionary with relationships it is really looking at a future together and being in a place of, of real intention, like doing, taking the action. So if you have met somebody new, I do feel like they're looking at you as a long-term partner. They're not just here to dabble and mess around with things. I also feel like it's somebody who has goals and, you know, overall, they have a, a variety of different areas. Like they they have a very purpose-driven life, okay? And it's like, it feels like somebody who knows how to have fun too. They know when to work and when to play. 
because those people that don't know when to work, sometimes they're hard to deal with because they're so inconsistent. Now, if you're planning something like you're building a place to live, a condo, a house, a townhouse, or something like that, I feel like your plans are going to come out beautifully. Like this is where you, the plans actually work. Isn't that great when we have well-laid plans and they work? Because with this world energy, you have new doors opening, doors that you didn't think were even available to you. Now, for some reason, I just saw somebody in the Navy. Um, I don't know why, but it was like a naval base or something. Um, so anyway, if you're visiting, maybe you're visiting San Diego or something, um, there's plenty of that out there. And it's a cool area too. But with this world energy, I do feel like somebody here, it's like you graduate to the next level where your life just becomes easier to deal with and more fun, where it's like you finally get a series of breaks and yeses. They show up right here. And so that wreath of victory, you go, you get out there, you slay mama. That's what this is about, where you say, you know what, I really do feel like I'm on track. If you have a new job that you're starting or even a, an ability to transfer to a new area, I do feel like with this world energy, you'll say it was more than I thought it was going to be. It's better than I thought it could be is what comes down. this comes down to. Now, if you are detoxifying in a literal sense, like in terms of the physical body, now we don't use tarot for medical advice, of course. We want to consult practitioners and be reasonable here. But with this world energy, I do feel like in terms of the body where you're going to be free of feeling discomfort, pain, joint pain, stiffness, swelling, all that kind of stuff. And so I just feel like you're entering this beautiful cycle. Let the phase begin with the Two of Cups, shall we? So this Two of Cups says that things are a match. They're in alignment, whether it's a housing situation, a job, or of course, a relationship. But with the relationship, I mentioned too, I feel like you have someone who does have a purpose-driven life, that they're here for a reason. Part of their journey is to meet you. And so this is somebody, though, who is going to be a great listener who can sit back and let you live your own life as you need to, who's not going to try to take control of things. They're not going to try to control you and stop you from being an autonomous person. They can be in a partnership without having to try to uh, manage everyone. You know, that's not really fun to be with somebody. It's the four M's of recovery, managing, manipulating, mothering, and martyrdom. Who wants that in a relationship? This is somebody who can allow you some space if you need it. And so I feel like too, if you have a certain hobby, if you like painting or you have a physical hobby, you like to go work out or, you know, maybe play some pickleball or basketball or something, they can allow that to be part of your life. It doesn't threaten them. They don't feel threatened by that. And so with this death card, you have a brand new beginning. It's like the first day of the rest of your life showing up here. It's freedom from a situation, especially I get it in a move. If somebody's moving and they really feel like it's time for a change, I feel like there's nothing better to see than this. It's like walking away from the wreckage. Even if it's to a house that you've somewhat outgrown or a, an apartment or a living situation that was good until it no longer fit, I feel like you're going to walk into something. It just feels clean. It feels easy. Like it's not, you're not going to have a bunch of repairs or issues with it. And so this death card is really signaling a rebirth. Okay, it's a very transformational energy, but it is about embracing change, letting go of the past, letting go of the old. And you have a soulmate energy here. So if you are asking about reconciliation, with the Two of Cups in death, I'd say it is possible, but we got to let go of the old business, the old unfinished emotional business. We can't drag that along even in a reconciliation. It just doesn't allow it to flourish and grow. So the Three of Pentacles shows you've got teamwork, you've got new doors opening, but you've also got people who hear you, okay? So in, in any kind of even mundane sense too, if you're looking for something, if you need help with something, the people hear you and they help you immediately. I mean, even in a big box store, you walk in and they say, oh yeah, it's right over here, come on. You know, and they give you help, they give you what you need, you're getting your needs met. And part of it too is this is a card of mutual respect. And so it's teamwork, it's working together well, even on that day-to-day -day level where it just seems like you're clicking with people, it's this. Now, if you are starting a new job, I feel like you'll be respected right from the start. Your ideas will be heard and you'll be able to get into the flow of things, even if it's like a job transfer to another area 
um, another area of where you live, but you know, maybe not the same city, but a neighboring city. I just feel like you'll fit right in. So with the energy of the Hierophant, it's unity. You've got it multiple times, this feeling of unity, cohesiveness, working well together. It's all showing up here. This can be a card of higher education too. So I would say with a job change, if you need training, you're going to get it. You're going to get what you need to be successful. There's nothing worse than somebody changes jobs and they never give them the training they promised. It's like, well, how can they be successful? You didn't do your end of the deal. So here's where everybody keeps up their end of the deal. Now, this is a card of deep spirituality. So meditate, ask the, ask the angels, ask and it is given. You know, don't be shy about that, but really do whatever spiritual practices you feel you need to do to be in that Zen place, okay, where you can go out into the world and feel free. You're not bogged down. You're not burdened by negative, old, crummy energies. So the Queen of Pentacles, again, it's, I feel like we got a double shot of Taurus here. This Queen of Pentacles is all about perfection. So I mentioned if you have any kind of a, an update or project that you're doing or moving, it's going to be perfect with this. She's great too in terms of work because she gives her best effort. And so you're going to find that you're knocking it out of the park at work. People around you are really happy to have you on their team with this Queen of Pentacles. But she does have a balanced life. So I would say with the relationship, because you have a very solid one here, that you have time. You've got time to do it all. And with the energy of the fool, go for it. Nothing says go for it more than this. Here's where life is easy. There's no hang-ups. There's nobody judging. It's really, and especially to a judgment, it really is about reserving judgment, being open, being easy. And from there, you'll attract people like mad. So let's see now. Maybe some detoxifying would help with that. We'll see what the angels want to tell you. All right, advice please for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Forgiveness, so let it go, let it flow, detoxify, abundance. You definitely have money showing up here and you've got success. So move forward with great freedom in the near future, they tell you. And you've got choose a new direction. So be open, be fluid, be unlimited. Good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you and I'll be back again soon.